hey guys and welcome to the daily market show <clears throat> i don't see any social comments so i'm not sure if i'm live or not possibly i am live am i live i know if i'm live when the first social comment comes okay i'm going to guess i'm live and go ahead with this thing anyways okay hey 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 guys um okay so i'm i'm going to be a little you know slightly disoriented because i had a vaccine shot today and it's very weird i'm not saying it's bad there's no fever no reaction or nothing like that but it's a little weird it's like your <laughs> your sense of time has slowed down and yeah it's like it's like you had some kind of a drug although i'm not into that stuff so okay let's get started with this uh, as usual the graph we we'll just look at yesterday's analysis to start with we said that this is still in a breakdown breakout uh, although it was a red candle day before yesterday we did indeed point out that this could be consolidating at the top of the green breakout candle and 15500 is a support and it is still a buy on dips and exactly like that today played out like that because we can see in the graph that this was the open it went low but it act took support from the previous all time high zones in fact if you look at it, this rejection wick of this tiny doji candle is coinciding with the bottom rejection wick of this candle so it's almost like they pushed each other away did not close there and uh, uh, and yeah and yeah it just pushed up so uh, so this is number 1 you know, obviously so the chart looks positive uh, still positive so let me just you know so it is still in a breakout took support at 1500 as per earlier analysis it is still a buy on dips this is not a market to short not a shorting market very clear right but it's a buy on dips market it doesn't mean you buy at any levels but you know today's 1500 when it went below 1500 today that was a very nice opportunity to go long it could have given you 150 points uh, sorry what is that 15 458 and close at 1500 yeah almost 150 points intraday um right yeah that is 150 right of course that's 150 oh, that's interesting oh there was 150 points to capture intraday i had no idea so uh so that's one now let us quickly look at option chain this is our option so today you can see there were some puts added at 15 450 and calls added at 650 and 700 and this is what the option chain looks like 600 is a resistance 700 is a resistance between 600 and 700 i'll call 700 the stronger resistance so <clears throat> it's a very interesting trade which you have if you had shorted 700 earlier but if you have shorted 600 it could be under pressure given today's price action so if you had shorted 600 earlier you exited at 15500 uh, uh, this morning below 15500 and you got an exit because the premium was low right so it would have been a very nice exit so that is uh, the co- the calls let's look at pcr here has fallen from 1 to you know sub um, it's from 1.1 to 1 and uh, so basically right option chain analysis says that it's looking a little bit more call heavy than put heavy around atm this is bigger than this this is bigger than this so at least if we look at option chain it's highly unlikely that 15700 will break but the chart is clear that 15500 is not breaking either so based on the chart and option chain's combined input i would say that look chart says yahan pe strong option chain says yahan pe strong so one interpretation could be that to maybe this 15700 will hold but even should maybe in the next expiry we are going to see chart winning because chart doesn't have a time frame chart option chain has to do whatever it has to do tomorrow chart can do whatever it wants to do aram se so maybe tomorrow we might see an expiry which is above 15500 and 15700 but overall looking at this chart it is pretty clear that we are going to see upward momentum so this option chain holds for tomorrow 15700 might not break but overall expiry may be next next expiry we can expect 15700 to break and 15500 to hold unless we see a negative candle so and 15 so i'm just going to add one point 15500 is a long term mid term support all resistances 
are temporary right if they are all dips they are not going to be reversals now let us look at fii option data this is interesting because it's still more heavy towards uh, puts than calls but here you can see that calls have been sold and puts have been bought so daily option data alone is indicates that uh, you know it could be bearish mildly but because 6000 calls is nothing right 6000 calls is nothing if it's like um, because i'll tell you why i'm saying 6000 to be nothing if you look at table right the overall we have seen days when there have been 55000 23000 39000 40000 calls sold 25000 calls sold 20k puts bought all of this compared to 6000 is just you know like a bucket or in an ocean types so i don't really think this is big i would ignore this so but no quantity very very minor FIA futures data is significant thousand crores sold solid negative FIA stock data is thousand crore bought which is positive because we have seen bigger numbers before in buy so verdict is this right <coughs> The verdict is, I'll pass this expiry for trading tomorrow. For trading tomorrow, if I have initiated trades, uh, which I already have, like 15700 short or 15500 kapoor short or 15400 from long time back, which we did, I'll probably hold all this. So, or if you did that buy on dips wala funda today at 15450 or something, if you shorted 15400 puts, then I'll possibly uh, hold on to them tomorrow. But I will not initiate a new trade tomorrow. Why? Because there is no premium left tomorrow. Like if it gap, if it opens gap up, right? There is no premium left in 15, 500 or 600 puts. If it's 500 or, or 400 puts, and if it's gap up open, you don't probably want to sell a 700 or 600 call because that is going to be a losing bet. So chart will chart so. 15500 is a short term and mid term base as it has consolidated. Uh, 15700 might hold tomorrow. Not sure for the next expiry. So as of now, it is a put selling market. I don't know if it's a call buying market. That depends on where you enter. Because in put selling, right, you enter thoda either the wrong, that's okay. But in call sell buying, you have to be very precise in your entry. So I am happily going to sell puts for next week, depending on tomorrow's price action. Uh, because this is a long term or a mid term support which has emerged here. Finally, what are my trades for tomorrow purely looking so if you have sold you're still holding it you can review the trade if there's a major gap tomorrow because in case 1500 breaks tomorrow it is going to be nasty 600 will most probably break so if you have 600 calls and in case you haven't exited on today's dip and the premium really eroded you might want to rethink it uh, if you have 1500 or below puts you can hold on no problem with that because it looks like 1500 will hold right again not a recommendation just what the option saying and the uh, Charts are saying, not my personal opinion. This is the interpretation, not an investment advice. Please talk to your advisor, research analyst, etc. Et now let us look at Bank Nifty. And we talked about this also yesterday. We were saying that this is a base. This line is a base. And today we can see it tried to go below that line, but it's strongly held. And this is a, it's a small bullish hammer. So it doesn't qualify as a classic nice bullish hammer. It's a small one. So it is not as strong as a law and with good volumes and all. Nevertheless, this is a strong upward, uh, you know, signal because why it's a hammer, it's a small, it has a rejection make, it has a green body, it closed above this resistance. So I'm expecting Bank Nifty to be positive for tomorrow. Why? Because of this bullish hammer, which closed above a, so think about this line, right? This line is like a battlefield. This is bull swinging, this is bear swinging, bull swinging, bear swinging. But bulls have consistently <coughs> maintained their footing above this line, which means bulls are not letting bears cross over. So they are holding territory as long as they hold it. And with this hammer coming tomorrow, 
I'll expect it to go up. Not a good time to short bank nifty calls. Maybe you can sell the puts, but definitely not a good idea to sell calls given this line strongly holding. At some point, bears will say, you know what, we give up. You're not letting us pass through and they give up. It will go up. Finally, moving to dollar. Dollar was very, very interesting. So uh, this was a reversal signal. There was a strong candle after that. <clears throat> and there was another third candle, but now the problem, this point, right, where there is, I can draw this horizontal support, you know, pretty easily. There is a bullish hammer here. There is a bullish harami here. There are bases of all these can wicks here. All of these act as a resistance now because once they were supports. Now dollar tried to break that. But then bears pushed it below this line in a way, in a manner of speaking, right? I mean, this is not precise because of course you have to look at spot charts. But nevertheless, if you have initiated trades here, this would have been a good place to do some profit booking. I had around 72, 87 pay some dollar. I booked at around 73.31 and I saw 73.50. I felt very heartbroken. But now that it is 73.39, I'm like, okay, thoda piece. I lost eight paisa it's opportunity but then that's not exactly how the world works right so right now i'll be thoda guarded about dollar because this this is a resistance i'll see if it holds or not but we can quickly look at the trading view with the nr Okay. Quickly keeping a check on time. It's 12 minutes. Dollar is at 7297 on spot, which is roughly 7230 on futures <coughs> for today. And you can see this, right? This is the spot chart. See, I mean, this is a bullish turnaround because of this, you know, base getting formed. But now there's a huge shooting star sort of. So I'll just wait and watch. And if it gives me another green candle here, I'll probably go along here. But I don't want to, you know, go <coughs> long against a potential resistance. I probably want it to consolidate a little bit. Give me a buy on dips or at least show some upward continuous momentum. Unless I see some more momentum piercing this resistance or I get one more opportunity to enter somewhere around here, I will not want to buy dollars. So out of the trade, probably it was a wrong time to get out. Maybe it will go up further. But overall, looking at the equity, looking at this resistance and all, I didn't feel like it. So that is dollar analysis. I think we'll just take one question. Uh, Oh, Utkarsh is saying SGX Nifty 5700 plus. I don't know. Yeah, SGX Nifty says a lot of things and then it just gives us, you know. So there is an RBA policy this week. So you have to be thoda, you know, careful. It can be very, very tricky if, you know, uh, Friday is an RBA policy. So be careful about that. And yeah, um, that is pretty much our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. You guys have a great expiry trade for um tomorrow keep your money safe don't take a trade just because you feel like taking a trade make a trade only if it makes sense and it's the right thing to do if we preserve the capital eventually we'll make money the biggest reason why most traders lose out even the long run is because they do one or two bad trades in which they can take huge hits so don't trade when you're 50 percent certain don't trade when you're 60 percent trader certain don't trade on a 70 percent we'll get always we'll get occasions <coughs> when we are 80 90 percent certain in those occasions trade really big with a tight stop loss and you'll make money it's it's just a matter of being patient enough to wait for those trades and being aggressive enough when you see those trades uh, so thanks again guys for joining this one we'll see you tomorrow you guys have a great uh, evening